so softly rounded and it's so satisfying mm-hmm. to touch and hold. And I love playing with my iPad without its case on uh, in mm-hmm. bed most of the time. Um. <laughs> Thanks for including that detail. I was curious where you would, you would do such a thing. Okay. That's my. That's what about you, Nick? Where did you (sighs) land today? I am conflicted. So me too. The twelve mini is very beautiful, right? Like I am all about this. That little James Bond theme. Did it? Yes. Oh my gosh, (laughs) that was perfect (laughs) with the cases, and it played on the 2018 (laughs) Apple intro where the lady was running the steel case. Um, But the twelve, the twelve is probably my favorite design out of the two. And this is a total 180 for Mr. Stainless Steel. But yeah, yeah, I really. love the iPad Pro and how the... Mm, the True. It's very boxy, yep. and it's not boxy like a Mac because the actual edge is just ever so softly rounded, and it's so satisfying mm-hmm. to touch and hold. And I love playing with my iPad without its case on uh, in mm-hmm. bed most of the time. Um, <laughs> Thanks for including that detail. I was curious where you would... <laughs> You would do such a thing. <laughs> I just take that case, right? I just rip it off. Is <laughs> um, but, but looking at this on the website, it looks so nice. The iPhone 12 and the the Pro is glossy, which I do appreciate that a lot. And normally that's my go-to. Um, but mm-hmm. it it looks a little bit like a fingerprint magnet, and. It does. You know, I will say the, that about the Pro. The, yes. the old stainless steel, you know, iPhone 10 through, you know, iPhone 11 stainless steel, it's a fingerprint mm-hmm. magnet, but since they're like rounded, you don't notice mm-hmm. it as much. It just looks like right. more matte and less gloss. But I mm-hmm. feel like this, you'll literally see, you know, the grooves of the fingerprint in here. And so, yeah. I don't know. You're not in love with that stainless steel Pro look. But. Overall, I'd much prefer the white stainless steel over over anything because that's really? my mm. favorite color ever. Um, the silver. Yeah. The, the, sorry, the silver. Yeah. The silver pro. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know. I'm pretty conflicted. Right now, I'm looking between a 12 Pro Max, a 12 Mini, and wow. an iPhone 10. That is very <laughs> – whoa. You're all over. I know. So, I can't. There's no group grouping there. It's so hard for me to <laughs> calibrate you. I can't calibrate you know that. <laughs> I, I really want the smaller one. Like the I, the 12 mini is what I'm leaning towards right now. Like if there's a gun to my head and I had to had to pre-order an iPhone right now, it would be the the 12 mm-hmm. mini. Like if okay. we had pre-orders right now, I I would have already ordered a 12 mini. Good man. But mm. I have till November 6th <laughs> to make this decision. Yes. And so, there's only two pre-order times. Yeah. Thankfully, I'm glad that leak wasn't correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know I, the, the 12 mini in white and uh, obviously the uh, the 12 Pro Max in silver. But my iPhone 10 is so good. Like I don't really feel like I am in need of an upgrade. I mean the battery's bad. Um, I have <laughs> discovered one hot pixel on the display that's just now constantly blue. It's just always blue oh no um at 100 percent. that's not it's a, good it's a good it's a good color it, it is a good color but uh <laughs> but yeah it, it, i do need a new iphone at some point but uh i don't know it's so it's so good and like i want to hold on to it just so i can experience you know a little bit longer but um, maybe by we get, by the time we get to november maybe my mind will have changed and i'll be definitely looking at an upgrade before okay. before we pick your brain drew um, mm-hmm. I just want to add this one to you, Nick, specifically and anybody else who I, I, I'm definitely on the mini train personally, just because yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. <laughs> mini train. I just picture Randy on this tiny train. On- <laughs> yeah, but for me, but it might Randy be a little size train. Sized. Yeah. Hey, so uh, but what I was going to say, Nick, is here's my recommendation, because I, I, I have a prediction about Drew. Uh, uh, okay. Before you say anything, so before I even get to that, I will you're, choose the opposite. Uh, I, and that's why I was <laughs> like, I I don't know if I want to tell you this because you go against me, but I know the brain. I know your brain well enough now. But anyway, <laughs> Nick, um, yes. here's why I would advocate getting the mini this year, okay. because this will be the shortest cycle of an iPhone for us to get the next one next year. Uh, if if 
God willing, everything goes back to normal, whatever normal is. But assuming we get back mm-hmm. on the schedule of, of September events again, which I think is much preferred across the board, and only with that assumption, then by November, like, okay, what's 10 months, really, at that mm-hmm. point? If you don't like it, we, we keep, I see this thing, at least with you specifically, that you are you're, you're kind of in a rotation. And I also know you're being more co- cost conscious about some stuff like that and going from 12 pro max to the mini you are on the polar opposite scales if you are to buy something or sticking with your iphone 10 so my advocate my my advocate towards the 12 mini is because if you don't like it and what i'm leaning towards is that it's 10 months and it's going to fly by Mm -hmm. and i don't think you're going to get rid of your 10 or your 11 or your uh anything else so he already got rid of his 11 no i'm talking well this this is more i'm sorry this is more for anybody else like oh, my, okay. my, 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 avo- my, me advocating about if, you know, just mix, mixing it up for this the year. record for, yeah, for the record, Nick is, he's doing something very bold. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you can always, de- you know, you can default on that and you'll probably in Nick, if you wanted to get iPhone 12, 11 pro back, you'll get it. You'll find it cheaper elsewhere. Now, all that to say that this would be a, an interesting time to experiment with something new because it's going to be a shorter cycle. God willing, we can go back into the September time frame. So I just hmm. wanted to put that out there on record. And Randy has suggested Nick to experiment with his preferences. Absolutely. You don't know. You won't know if you don't like it, baby, unless you give it a try. <laughs> gotcha. I just got so, the drift. Okay. Here's, um, here's my yeah. prediction. Uh, no, go ahead and respond to that, and then I'm gonna make my prediction about Drew. Yeah, uh, I am. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's gonna it's gonna come down to the price difference between the two. Um, you know the. 12 mini what's 699 starting and then the 12 pro max is uh 10 if you buy it unlocked it's actually 729 which is a little weird what That's yeah weird. apple is more? they're doing like a 30 dollar discount if you go through verizon and at&t and then they list it at 699 but the truth is if you want it unlocked it's listed at 729 so weird. that's like the true price so it's a little deceiving. I, I don't really like Apple doing that personally. Kinda I think rude. that's kind of fishy. That is pretty fishy. Um, I guess most people probably are buying those models, but still, I don't like. Don't don't say it starts at six ninety nine if yeah. unlocked. It's seven twenty nine. That's a little kind of weird. There. Yeah. So yeah. seven seven seventy nine is the uh, one twenty eight version that I would consider getting, um, and then the twelve Pro Max that that starts at one twenty eight, right? Hundred and twenty. Uh, yes, yes, it does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it would it would be what a three hundred and fifty ish dollar swing, um, mm-hmm. something. That's pretty sizable, and uh, and I'm not sure if lidar and a bigger display is worth it and stainless steel. So you do have lidar already, so you can't. I know. Right? Get this excited is true. for that. I, 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 <laughs> that is true. I was really hoping when when I saw that little lidar camera on the you know as soon as they did the little intro thing it looked like it was descending mm-hmm. from the UFO or something. Um, that was a great unveil shot, by the way. They, they, they were doing a real good job with the lights, yeah. with all them turning, mm-hmm. and then the phone comes out of it. I was like, "Oh, oh my god!" <laughs> but I was, I was, someone <laughs> got paid for that, <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't me. But as, as soon as I saw that uh, 12 Pro uh, with the lidar sensor, I was like, "Ah, oh, man!" I am so excited. They're gonna bring some kind of fun feature with lidar <laughs> and they didn't the only feature was yeah dark mode uh a dark mode better autofocus during faster dark autofocus mode. yeah it's i'm just like i'm pretty surprised by that to be honest i really thought lidar was gonna do more than they were making it out to do yeah so like why, why really have it just, at that point though like what's what's in their yeah. what's in their roadmap that says we need to have a lidar sensor on all the pro things apple know. glass I yeah. Yes, but like, they want to. They, they want to collect data for that. It's I guess it's been like nine months, and there's still no good good reason for the lidar sensor stuck on the back of my iPad. They need a lot of data. They need a lot. I guess. <laughs> I guess they better have a reason for me to turn it on. <laughs> no, like. Oh, but yeah, wow. you're right. If there's if there's not really much point in using it because right now it sounds like if you're taking portrait night photos, we'll get some of that extra lidar data. It's like, mm, okay. How about them AR demos, huh? I know. <laughs> I know. 
Yeah. Hey there! You finished the video! Good job! That means that you deserve an award. Unfortunately, this is the internet and we can't give everyone a participation award, but what you can do is hit the subscribe button, the like button, and maybe comment down below why you think my shirt hasn't changed for the past three weeks.